Welcome to another one to build tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to manage your fixed contract claims. Let's go ahead and get started. Here at Wonderbill, we support two contract types. Let's go ahead and have a look at those. So if you just go to your jobs on the left side, and let's just create new so we can see what those types are. So we have contract value, which is your fixed contract value type, as well as cost plus. And today we'll be talking about your fixed contract or your contract value job type. In order to create or manage your claims, all you need to do is close this off. Go to your job section. We can just hit this sample job here. Go to the menu to the left, go to your costing. Now you can see all the category items. So as you progress your job with the end customer, you'll be completing these items here. And as you complete the items, you can literally go through these categories, pick the items that you like to quote. For example, let's just do these four items here. You can go to various different categories and mix and match into one invoice to the customer as well. And once, you, once you've chosen all the items that you'd like to claim, see this button here, so claim items has six, so click that. And now you can see this form to be filled out, which is the invoice that will be sent to your customer. And all you need to do is create a description, pick the contact, and you can see the category items that will be invoiced to the customer. You can start to enter the claim percentage that you'd like to claim whether it be 100%, 50% or a partial dollar amount, send a message or a comment that will appear on the customer's invoice. And once you're satisfied with the above, all you need to do is click the Create button. So by clicking on these icons here that appear, so these icons represent any item that is sitting in the Progress Claim area within Wonder Build. So you can either access it here, menu to the left, and go to Progress Claims. Or you can simply click on the corresponding item with the icon on that right side, and that will take you to this area here. And there's the progress claim number. All you need to just click on that, and it will take you to the progress claim section. And from here, you can start to manage your claims. They're, all these are sitting in draft at the moment. There's a couple of there that we've done on a previous demonstration. That's one way we could do it. So we understand, of course, that one of the traditional way of managing your claims or your progress claims is done via various milestones. And let's just take a look at a, a classic example of that. And you can see this is a way that um, a lot of builders would manage their progress claims. And a good question to ask is how much do I pay at each stage? And you can see here, as a general rule, the amount you pay at different stages are as follows. The deposit 5% and then 15% and then the frame stage 20%, lockup stage 20% and et cetera. So each builder, of course, has their own method of progress claims or our own process if you will and perhaps you'd like to mimic something like this so what I'll do next is I'll show you how we can actually create this type of scenario as a progress claim as opposed to doing it the way we just did so just let's just flip back to the other screen and, and take a look at, at how to do that and all you need to do is back at the progress claim screen click on the create new button and all you need to do is Enter in the description. So in this case, we're going to look at doing the milestone method and we'll start off with the first stage, which was the deposit. And you can enter the fixed amount in dollars. Otherwise you can create a percentage for that particular milestone, which was 5% as per that document. Create the comment. And once you're done, click on create. And we can do the same thing for the remainder of the milestones. For well, this last one, which was the practical completion stage, you'll notice here in this little box, it states amount available to claim 34x thousand dollars or 9.6%. Gives you an, an indication of how much is left remaining. All the other items in progress claim are in draft are essentially calculated against the contract value. This ensures that you don't underbill yourself or the customer or overbill yourself or the customer. So let's just enter 9.6%. And you can see that there, that's the amount that matches up with the amount available to claim. Click on create. So just having a look at that again, and let's just delete this. So I can show you how to edit that. Go to options and you can now delete that. Let's recreate that. Now, if I was to claim back 15%, you'll notice that amount must be equal to or below 
that particular amount to claim. So in other words, it won't let you. So you'll get that error message if you've claimed too much above the actual available amount left on this contract. So let's just claim the exact amount. And that works now. So just click on create. Now we've basically balanced out the contract value against the progress claims. On to sending it to your end customer now. A couple of ways you could do it. All you need to do is navigate to the progress claim that you'd like to send to your customer. Click on that and you'll notice the options drop down on the top right corner. Click on that and you've got print, send and etc. So if you'd like to send this manually to your customer through your preferred email software, you can go ahead and click on print, save it to your desktop or wherever you'd like, or you can physically print a copy. Otherwise, you can utilize Wonderbuild to, to send it off for you. So back to the options area and click on send. And from here that you can generate the and compose the message to your customer, at the subject and etc. It has the attachment of that invoice as well. And we'll just close that off for a sec and just show you how you can mark the progress claims as received. Back to options. And for instance, the customer's paid the invoice. You can now manually mark it as received. Make sure you have received the invoice. You cannot undo this step. And you'll notice on the left side that particular progress claim has been received. We'll just do the same for the next one. There you go. You see that's been received. Now, if you were to send it to your customer within Wonderbuild, you can also see how that tracks it too. Click on send, post the message. So you're happy with that? Send. And you can see there it's been sent. Which just makes for a perfect way to manage all of your progress claims in one place. And now what you can also do is go back to the menu to the left and click on overview. And you can now see here the estimated cost for the project, the job, and the amount claimed, the actual gross profit as well. Now the last thing I'd like to show you is Wonderbuild's ability to integrate with Myob and Zero. In order to be able to configure those integrations, all you need to do is go down to your settings and you'll see here an option for integrations, click on that. And it's simple as once you connect Zero or Myob, you can just follow the prompts and now you can have all of the invoices synchronized so that way your bookkeeper can ensure that they can also keep track of the activity in your business. And that concludes the tutorial on how to manage your fixed contract claims. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for the next video.